up two with 244. Towns perfectly timing up this contest forces Gordon to pass out of his shot. When it's floated into Durant, Towns doubling him is met with Alexander Walker picking up Carl's man and Gordon, amidst a ring around the Rosie to Beal in the left corner. Conley leaves KD to lunge onto Beal and funnel a drive. With KD having spaced out to the right corner, this allows Towns to protect the basket while Alexander Walker clogs the passing lane to pick off the Beal kickout. Skipping ahead to the very next possession, and Edwards hitting Beal with a size up that draws gravity gets him into the lane where he resembles Michael Jordan with a tomahawk jam for the ages. Oh, Edwards! A signature slam! The most dominant two-way sequence from any team in 2024 catapulted the state of Minnesota to sweep its first playoff series in any pro sport ever. But the win came at a cost, as 54-year-old man in charge Chris Finch would scarily collide with Mike Conley and tear the patellar tendon in his right knee. His entire team checked on him afterwards, but Finchy will require surgery in between rounds, now being forced to coach in crutches in the West Semis. Given Finch will be alright, his injury is a small price in what was a fantastic day for Wolves fans across the globe, Anthony Edwards' ascension into one of the game's best players, and probably the most marketable face of the game at the moment for a flurry of reasons, has taken the league by storm. How Ants embraced the culture of this Minnesota organization to the fullest extent has led his troops from top to bottom to do the exact same. However, the Wolves simply wouldn't be here if it wasn't for their first-class president of basketball operations. The reason for this GM's reputation, how he turned this team into a contender with a couple savvy blockbuster trades, and much more regarding Minneapolis's first series win in exactly 20 years is on its way. But if you're not in the 12.7% who are subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm as it makes a massive difference. For NBA mixtapes and channel updates, follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram. Channel updates and off-the-record takes are on my Twitter, at DFlowHoops as well. Go follow those accounts. Appreciate you. Back to the content. The mastermind behind both the championship Denver Nuggets and the having just advanced to the second round Minnesota Timberwolves, who could easily win the 2024 NBA championship, is Tim Connolly. Tim's move to trade five players, four first-round picks, and a pick swap in exchange for three-time DPOY Rudy Gobert was called the worst deal in NBA history at the time of its occurrence. Trading for Gobert meant the Wolves would have two starting centers in what was at the time a small ball-dominated era. How the Wolves would play Gobert and Towns together while having success was rightfully head-scratching, and it took a season for the Wolves to adjust attempting to mold themselves to a new style of play and in turn changing the NBA had its growing pains. That, in addition to Jaden McDaniels and Nas Reed missing the first round of the playoffs, sent the Wolves home in five against the Nuggets last year. With a full season along with another training camp with Gobert under their belt, the Wolves entered the 23-24 campaign with night and day better chemistry. The summer 2022 Gobert trade is the main talking point in terms of what improved the Wolves around two first overall picks in Townsend Edwards, but lest we forget, a 22-23 season trade deadline deal Minnesota made was equally foundational to vamping the T-Wolves' chances. On February 9th, 2023, the Minnesota front office traded D'Angelo Russell to the Los Angeles Lakers in a three-team deal involving the Utah Jazz that sent Mike Conley and Nikhil Alexander-Walker to Minnesota. Just like the Gobert trade, the Wolves initially seemed to have come up on the short end of the stick when D'Lo thrived out of the gate with the Lake Show. Just over a year later, and Russell's been inconsistent, to say the least, for the Lakers, while Conley in the starting five and SGA's cousin Alexander Walker off the pine were propellers in landing the Wolves a top three seed plus winning them a first round series and will be huge throughout the rest of this Timberwolves run. Mike and Nikhil have been so steady on both ends, it's to the point where in hindsight it seems like a massive trade robbery that Connolly received Mike and Nikhil for D'Angelo alone. Looking at this from a wider perspective, and as this tweet memeing a clip of Phoenix Suns owner Matt Ishbia reads, Proper basketball is back. You can't just build super teams anymore. Timberwolves and Nuggets are the models of the future. To that point, the Minnesota and Denvers of the world, throw in OKC with them as well, have built their teams ethically through draft picks and trades. More importantly, they've built their rosters around prioritizing chemistry. 
To build said chemistry, it's about finding the right mix of playstyles, personalities, and positions. And Connolly has done that for two franchises, being responsible for turning both Denver and Minnesota into powerhouses. Tim has at the same time innovated the game of basketball by going big. Man is a basketball genius. So it finally isn't a super team-driven league anymore, which I think a lot of us are thankful for, but it is still a super star-driven league. You need that top dog to take you home. Anthony Edwards isn't only that, but he's already at age 22, one of the greatest postseason performers ever, at least on paper. Obviously, Anthony has a long way to go before he fully lives up to the extremely lofty comparisons to the GOAT Michael Jordan, but already has more 40-point playoff games than 97.4% of players all time. Classily, a top 15 to 20 player all time in Kevin Durant would give his take on the rising talent that Ant is. So impressed with Ant. So impressed with Ant. Um, my favorite player to watch. Just grown so much since he came into the league at 22. Just his love for the game just shines bright. And that's something that's probably, that's one of the reasons why I like him the most because he just loves basketball. He's grateful to be in this position. He's taking advantage of every opportunity he's gotten. Um, love everything about Ant, everything. And um, be watching him going forward. And, um, you know, you know he's going to go out there and play extremely hard every single night, but was really impressed with him. Um, and it's going to be somebody I'm following for the rest of his career. Edwards is the low man on this possession. When Towns gets switched on to Booker and gets past him, the standing jump, timing, body control, and unrelenting hustle from Edwards stuns Devin when his lay-in attempt is cleanly swatted. The threat that Ant is on the defensive end should be a surprise to no one, considering the fourth-year professional out of the University of Georgia ranked first among all shooting guards in 23-24 in defensive rating, just ahead of Shea Gilgis Alexander. An elimination game featured second and former first option Carl Anthony Towns delivering a 28-point double-double and being the only Minnesota starter without a turnover. 2015's number one overall pick in the John Calipari product of Kentucky is in the midst of living up to the massive career expectations that being chosen first overall come along with. After his ROI season in 2016, Towns has proceeded to become a four-time All-Star and a two-time All-NBA player. In what's Cat's fourth trip to the postseason throughout his nine-year career, the three-point efficiency he's posting on 19 points per game is incredible. Among players who've played at least four games and shot at least four three-pointers per game in the 2024 playoffs, Carl's 53% three-point stroke, in the midst of the Wolves getting an extended break in between round two, is third best in the NBA. In terms of the most incredible aspect of the 2024 Wolves, you could say it's their will to win and positioning which shows up most prominently in their defense. You could say it's Ant's superstardom becoming as clear as day, with the man posting 31 points per night on 51% shooting from the field and 44% shooting from distance. You could say it's Minnesota's front office, with Tim Connolly's game-changing deals for Gobert, Alexander, Walker, and Conley all since taken over as team president in 2022. And last but not least, you could go with Carl Anthony Towns, shooting an elite deep range percentage. What's the most incredible aspect of the 2024 Wolves, in your opinion, for a chance at next video shoutout? Today's shoutout goes to Rafa V, who says if the Nuggets don't sweep the Lakers, it'll be because the Lakers' strategy of Bor Jokic finally paid off after 11 games. Top 5 with the most shoutouts by June 21st earned free merch, so drop your take down below, DFlow signing off, and peace.